Hey everybody, it's Thread Tech Tuesday, and I had some questions from a couple different people about the threads I'm using for my stitch meditations, and so I thought I'd go over what I use. This is my great display for my, my threads. It's over by my table um, and my chair that I stitch at every day, and I, it's just a tiered thing. I got at Target. It wasn't very expensive, but it's kind of a fun way to showcase all my threads. So, um, I use, for the, let me start over by saying, I kind of get on kicks. Sometimes I use finer threads and sometimes I use pearl cotton. And I've been on mostly using pearl cotton lately. So, um, with brands, I have Valdani, I have DMC, and Wonderfill. Um, I have a lot of Valdani and Wonderfill because I've worked with both companies. And their threads are... Quality-wise, they're the same, um, but the the Valdani threads are a, have a little bit more of a matte finish than the Wonderfill or DMC. Let me see. I don't know if you'll be able to see this at all, but this one is Valdani, and this is Wonderfill, and this is DMC. So. Um, the DMC and the Wonderfill have a little bit more of a sheen, and the Valdani is more of a matte finish. And the Valdani colors tend to be more earthy. They have, in the last year or so, come out with more um, bright colors. Last couple years, I guess. It's been a while since I've been to Quilt Market. Um, and they've got a lot more bright colors now, but um, originally they started with really just the earthy, um, darker colors. And um, Wonderfill tends to have more bright colors, though they, in the last couple years, added a line that's um, more primitive kind of colors. And I think it's because they're, more people are doing wool embroidery with the um, pearl cottons. So. Um, and in the top layer here, I have a, a bunch of different brands that are a regular sewing weight thread, like a regular medium utility thread, as well as 12 weight threads. Now. There is 12 weight pearl cotton and there's 12 weight sewing machine thread. So this is Wonderfill's, you probably can't see that very good, um, 12 weight sewing thread, machine thread. And this, I, this Valdani here is a 12 weight pearl cotton. So they are made by different processes. So you can see the, the Pearl cotton is much thicker than the, the sewing thread, the machine thread. And it's just a matter of the way it's, it's made. This is um, not quite as tightly woven, um, spun, and this is more tightly spun to, to be used on the machine. Now I have used this on the machine. You have to just go a little slower. Um, and I wouldn't put anything bigger than this in your sewing machine. Um, that was my thread talk on using heavy threads in the bobbin. So um, I did bring up some pieces that are stitched with the lighter weight threads just, and I can put pictures in the text. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a little bit more delicate with these lighter weight threads. So I, and that's where I seem to go in, in kind of stages where I'm doing more chunky sewing or more, um, more delicate sewing. I don't really know when. And then, you know, also with the 12 and 8 weight threads for two months and then throw in a whole bunch of the lighter weight threads. It's just kind of whatever, <coughs> whatever my inspiration <laughs> says to stitch. So, uh, and sometimes it's color um, or texture. You know, if I want it to be lighter feeling, then I'll use the lighter weight thread. All right, so Louise asked about the needles that I use, and I use chenille needles for all of my stitch meditation, actually for the majority of my embroidery. Um, I use chenille needles. One, the whole, the eye is bigger, it's longer, so it's a little easier to thread the rounder threads. The only time I'll use like an embroidery needle is um, if I'm using these thinner threads. I'll use an embroidery needle if, because there are a couple in my pin cushion. Um, but I'm, I use these threads with a chenille needle, and I use 22s and 20s the most. 
um, probably 22 the most often. 24 works really great with these finer threads. Um, it's a little hard to thread the pearl cotton in there, though sometimes the 12 will go through. Um, depends if it's an easy needle threading day. You know those days where the needle never wants to get threaded. Um, and the two brands I use are Clover and Tulip. Um, they both have a gold eye, which I really appreciate being able to help see to um, thread them. The Clover needles are less expensive. Um, and I think the Tulip needles have a little bit thicker shaft, like tiny, tiny bit thicker, probably not measurable. Um, but I use both of these. Um, it's just whichever one I pull first. So, um, but I, use, I like having the gold eye that really helps a lot with threading needles. Um, of course, being nearsighted helps with threading needles too. So um, <coughs> that's it about needles. Um, like I said, I don't usually use an embroidery needle. Sometimes I'll, you know, I have some different weird needles in different pin cushions and I'll just grab one and go, oh, well, I'll use that. But um, most of the time it's a chenille needle. I have gobs of them. And um, Avanel asked if thread has a nap or a grain. And the short answer is after all the processing it's been through for, um, to get to where it is, it doesn't really have a grain, not noticeable for, for most stitchers. I mean, there might be some threads that have more of a grain than others, but, and there's this whole thing where you should um, pull the thread off and then thread your needle from, from this end that's loose on the spool or with pearl um, embroidery floss, the one that's all sticking out already. Um, I don't really pay attention to that. I lose track. So, um, I don't know, maybe, I, I always assume that the days it's uh, tangling more is my issue, not the thread issue. But I've never noticed a significant difference um, starting with one end of the thread or the other. So, um, you know, I haven't asked any thread um, manufacturers if there's a grain, but, um, it doesn't seem like there's a grain or a nap that's worth fussing about. Now, when you get to heavier yarns, then you definitely have nap. But in these finer threads, I, I don't think that's an issue. So that's my Thread Tech Tuesday. Put more questions down below if you have them. And please just let me know what your questions are. I love answering them and sharing what I know. <laughs>